Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the Transverse Sudoku pack, which is a pack of diagonal puzzles, which has been mostly put together by Maggie, my mother, and I. This puzzle is called Clockwise, um, and this is the one that the testers said was a little bit more tricky than the uh, other purely diagonal puzzle that is in this pack. Um, so, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, um, as well as to the entire pack. I think this one is about the same difficulty as the previous diagonal one. Overall, this pack, I think, is slightly harder than um, either of the previous two packs we put out, but um, I think the puzzles in it are a lot of fun, and hopefully you will too. Um, as I said, link below where you can try this puzzle for yourself. Let's have a look at the rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And of course, we may not repeat digits along any of either of the uh, diagonals either. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the obvious thing to note at the very start is 1, 7, and 8 cannot appear on this diagonal in those cells, and 1, 7, and 8 cannot appear on this diagonal in those cells. But 1, 7, and 8 must appear on the diagonal because um, there's no repeated digits on the diagonal, and the diagonal is nine digits long. So this is 1, 7, and 8 in the box, and we cannot put one in the middle. Now, we've got two digits that cannot go in these. Two and nine cannot go in those cells, and two and nine cannot go in those cells. So two and nine have to go in those three cells, but that can only be a seven or an eight. So this is a two, nine pair. Now, four has to go in this box um, in one of those two cells, but two, uh, six has to go in one of those two. Okay. What else can we tell? Oh, three and three means three has to go in this box somewhere. So this becomes three, six, and the five that has to go in this box now goes with the four, and this is a four, five. Okay, that's a nice beginning. Do I want to look at those? No, because I've still got a seven and an eight that is free. So do I want to continue maybe on this diagonal or no, let's look at this diagonal because this five has to go on the diagonal somewhere and it's off the diagonal in this box in this box. So five is on the diagonal up here. Similarly, this six is not on the diagonal here or in here. So the six is on the diagonal down here. Not sure how that's helping. Let's just do some basic Sudoku. One and one and one puts one down here. Two and two and two puts two on the diagonal up here. Six and six makes this a six, which means this isn't a six. So this digit is under a little bit of pressure. Well, yeah, this digit is under a little bit of pressure. One, two, it sees one, two, it could be three, four, it can't be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So it's only three or four. Well, four and four, four is in one of those two. Interesting, three is in one of those. If three is on the diagonal, that's a four. Well, hang on, four is not in any of those. Four is in one of those two, which puts four in one of those two. And that was the trick. I remember now, that's the trick that Maggie put on into this puzzle. This cell here sees that cell and that cell. So if this was a four, neither of those could be a four, and both of those would need to be a four, and that puts two fours in row one. So that's a three. Because if it's a four, neither of those are a four. Both of those have to be fours, and we've broken the puzzle. That was the trick that Maggie saw. 
what and the, um, she saw it um, when we had these fours placed. So once we had this four and this arrangement, and the four and this four with this arrangement, it forced these fours. And then she turned around and said, "Well, that can't be a four. And then we played with digits to make sure that this had two options, one of which was a four. I remember that now. So that makes one of these two a three. I think it's got to do with this quadruple now, because this is one, two, four, seven, and eight. Well, there's no seven or eight there, and there's no four there. That's a two. So this is a four, seven, eight in that box, and there's no four in the middle, and that gives us a seven, eight pair. So this is a uh, triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, five, nine, and there's no nine there. One, two, three, four, five. There's six in one of those. Mm. Oh, where's three in this box now? With this three, three is not on the diagonal and it's not in any of those. That's the three. Which puts three in one of those two, but this three looks up saying it's not there. That's the three making this the two. And this is now a quadruple on the diagonal. We, I've got one, I've got two. So it's three, four, five. I've got six, seven, eight, nine. So three, four, five, nine. Well, there's no three in either of those. There's no four there. There's no nine there. There's no four there. So three is in one of those two. Ah, oh, there's no three there. Where's three on the diagonal? That's the three. And that's a five, nine pair. So that's the four. That's not the four. The four looks across saying that's not the four. That's the four. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So these are five, six, and nine. There's no nine there. The nine is in one of those two. Ah, five is looking up. That's the nine. That's the six. That's the five, saying that's not the five. The six is looking down, saying that's not the six. So that's the six. That's the one. And this is a triple. Four, seven, and eight. There's no seven in either of those two. That's the seven. This is a four, eight, with the four looking down, making that the eight and that the four. I think the reason I'm solving this one easier is I remembered the trick. This is a one, seven, It'll, um, but there may be more to come. This is a triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. There's no six in the middle. And these, one, two, three, and seven, no, three and eight haven't been placed. So where's three in this row? Can't put three in any of those or any of those. Three is in one of those two with that three looking down saying not there. That's the three. This is now a triple. One, five, nine. Well, that's not a nine because of the nine in one of those two and it's not a one. That's the five and this is a one nine pair. So this triple is one seven and eight and there's no seven in the top row well i've already got a seven in the top row so that's the seven making that the eight looking up making that the one making that the eight uh, the two takes the two out of there in fact this is a five nine for the row so that's the two the two looks down saying that's not the two that's a five nine pair now so these are two and four and the four, seven, eight makes that the two and that the four. This is a five, nine in the box. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I've got a two. So one, two, three, four, five. These are seven and eight. And the eight makes that the seven and that the eight. The seven looks back making that the one and that the seven. The four, five makes that the nine. And I can take nine out of both of those. The eight says that's not the eight. Oh, neither of those are the eight. 
So the eight makes that the three and that the eight, the three makes that the six and that the three, the six makes that the five and that the six. The seven makes that the one, which makes that the seven. The one makes that the nine and that the one. The nine makes that the two, which makes that the nine. This row is missing its two. So this box is missing its five. So this row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And the seven makes that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks down saying that's not the eight. The seven looks down saying that's not the seven. This box is now missing one and six. The one looks up making that the six and that the one. The nine on the diagonal makes that the five and that the nine, which makes that the nine, which looks up making that the five and that the nine. The eight looks down making that the seven, which makes that the four and that the eight. The four looks up making that the five and that the four. And this box is missing one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll use the six to make that the five and that the six. And I solved that one a little bit faster. But the trick with this one, of course, is I remembered the trick that Maggie had used with the three, four pair here on these fours. Um, I remembered this one because I think we only set this one as one of the last puzzles in the pack. And I thought that was a really nice trick on this cell but I have seen it recently. But the whole point of these videos is to advertise the puzzle and to help people who need help. I'm not trying to show off my solving skill here. These are video guides when I do these pack puzzles. And a lot of people say, oh, I don't need to watch Brems to solve his own puzzle. The whole point is to promote the puzzle. If this gets solved, on, I, I want people to open the video on these ones and actually try the pack. So if people are downloading the pack and everything, that's what matters. Um, hopefully people are, are actually doing the puzzles. That's what matters the most. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoy the pack. And as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>